Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do another Choose Only One video. And these are full size 9mm striker fire handguns. All of them have optics, but that doesn't matter. In the end, I want you to choose only one. I'm going to go through this fairly quickly, so let's get to it. Let's start out with the Ruger American Competition. Very nice handgun. MSRP only $689. The American series I consider the best striker fire series that Ruger has come out with yet. And the competition model is nice. You can see it has lightning cuts there, fiber optic front sight, 5 inch barrel. I've got a Steiner MPS on there, 17 round mags and a very nice trigger that is consistent with the other Ruger handguns. I, I dig them. I think this is a worthy choice. Here we have the Springfield Armory Echelon. What a nice handgun this is. Comes with 17 and 20 round mags. This is a 20 round mag, a flat face trigger right there with a very nice trigger pull, very short reset. VIS, variable interface system that suits many red dots. This is a Trigicon RMR. Has a front tritium dot, U-notch rear sight. It is modular. Nice slide serrations here. Disassembles real easy. MSRP 719. A lot of people are loving the Echelon. Here we have the Bull Armory Axe FS Hatchet. FS stands for full size. It has a 4.49 inch barrel, 17 round magazines, very nice grip texturing. Feels great in the hand. A flat face trigger that breaks right around three and a half pounds. A direct mount with an RMR footprint. I have a Holosun 407C on there. A beautiful shooting handgun, beautiful looking handgun. I've fallen in love with it for the short time that I've had it. I speak very highly of it. Extremely accurate, awesome choice. Here we have the Taurus G3 Tactical. Cerakote Patriot Brown is what Taurus calls it. 17 round mags, a 4.5 inch threaded barrel. Comes with four optic plates. I have a Siley Wolf Pro on here. This has restrike capability, but a very nice trigger in single action. A lot of people are loving the G3 series. I think when Taurus came out with the G3 Tactical, it was a huge hit. I'm very fond of it. It's been very reliable for the time I've owned it. It's been about a year now, and I dig it. This is the Canik TP9 SFX, full size with a 5.2 inch barrel, tungsten gray. Canik has come out with other models like the Mate and the Rival. I've stuck with this. And check out this optic. It's made by Siley called the Bull Pro. Huge window in there. Comes with 20 round magazines, fiber optic front sight, loaded in the case with a bunch of accessories, right around 550. Excellent trigger pull and... That short reset is what brings people back to Canik so many times. Has a lot with it, offers a lot for the money, and this has been great since I have owned it. Can't wait to sight this optic in. I think it's going to be outstanding. The largest 9mm Glock I have is a Glock 45. And although the barrel length doesn't dictate full size, the grip does with 17 round magazines. It only has a 4 inch barrel, but it's... MOS, I've got a Swamp Fox Justice on there, red dot, similar Glock trigger, a lot of people love the Glock trigger, a lot of people change them out, but this is a Glock, if I didn't add a Glock, people would certainly ask where is it, the Glock 45 I think is one of their best models, I like the hybrid with the longer grip and the 4 inch barrel, this has been great, known for reliability, Glock 45. Hope you like my choices. Let me know what you think and be sure to choose only one. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.